house. You know, in Peru, environmentalists have a real mystery on their hands. Nearly 900 dolphins have turned up on a stretch of beach on the northern coast. Scientists have been testing the dolphins and trying to figure out exactly what happened. But these deaths are just the latest in a worldwide trend. In February, 179 dolphins washed ashore in Cape Cod. Then in early March, amateur video taken on a beach in Rio de Janeiro showed more than 30 dolphins on the shore. I tell you what, if you're there, you've seen the pictures, you're thinking, what is going on in Redondo Beach, California? Uh, look at this with me. It might be a little hard to tell here with this wider shot, but what you're looking at is dead fish. A lot of dead fish. Fish and game officials in California say the millions of anchovies and sardines now floating in a marina, apparently suffocated. Here's hoping they don't get on pizza. But here's what happened. The fish swept in from the ocean, used up all the oxygen in their new enclosed surroundings. There are no signs of oil or other chemicals in the water. They just used up all the O2. We're back now with the puzzling story of a massive kill of wildlife in the state of Arkansas. Birds falling out of the sky, the result of some sort of trauma, and fish found dead in the water. Thousands of them in separate incidents in the same state. They rain down on a small Arkansas town, like a scene from a horror movie. Thousands of dead blackbirds on front lawns and so many in the street drivers could barely avoid them went out to get the paper and i looked and i said wait a minute what is this and there were birds all over we probably had 14 or 15 just in the front yard as many as 5,000 bird carcasses littered across a one mile radius after dropping from the sky on new year's eve i thought the mayor was messing with me when he called me he got me up at four o'clock in the morning told me he had birds falling out of the sky Geez, what a way to start the new year, right? Yes, sir. Last year we started it with floods, and this year birds. What could have caused it? As the state veterinarian examined the birds today, theories have run the gamut. From their being hit by lightning or high-altitude hail, to being spooked to death by New Year's Eve fireworks. It really is like something out of a horror film. Every yard in the area looks a lot like this one. Dozens of birds litter the ground, and the scariest part is no one knows how they got here. Everybody's going to be amazed at this happening. Most of the animals are red-winged blackbirds, like this one. And they're not just on lawns. We found so many of them on some roads that it was difficult to drive without crushing one. The dead drum fish are now littering a 20-mile section of the Arkansas River near Ozark. And adding to the mystery, a massive fish kill also here in Arkansas, just one day earlier. As many as 100,000 drumfish dead along a 20-mile stretch of the Arkansas River. It's 100 miles from the dead birds, but the Internet was right with conspiracy theories. One Twitter user writing, 5,000 dead birds, now 100,000 dead fish. Definitely an alien invasion happening in Arkansas. The experts call it coincidence. Extremely unusual. Uh, having two events like this uh, at uh, practically the same time, uh, we don't think that there's any connection whatsoever. Too alarming. Some have called biblical type events that have many residents wondering what's next. Back now to our top story. A terrible mystery gripping the world right now. Birds, fish, and all kinds of creatures just dropping dead in huge numbers for what seems like no reason. Just in the last two weeks, the theories and speculation running rampant. Hundreds of dead seals in Labrador. These seals washed up around Hopedale. There are similar reports from other communities. No one knows why these animals died. The County Humane Society is investigating the death of 200 cows. The cattle were discovered on a farm field on 4th Street in Amherst. Today, the bodies were taken out in semi-loads to be disposed of. The Portage County Sheriff's Department says the animals died. They have occurred suddenly with devastating results. A series of huge fish kills, the, the latest involving 2 million fish in Maryland. On Kent Island, Maryland, along the Chesapeake Bay. Wildlife officials say roughly 2 million of one particular species died very suddenly. But this came at about the same time that thousands of birds died suddenly in Arkansas and Louisiana, and millions of fish were killed in separate incidents from Arkansas to South America to the South Pacific. <laughs> This is all a sign 
of the apocalypse. Authorities in northern Italy say more than a thousand turtle doves have dropped dead over the past five days. It's the latest in a series of unexplained sudden death incidents affecting creatures in the sky and underwater. The events have sparked a media frenzy with doomsday speculators saying it hails the end of the world. 8,000 dead turtle doves in Italy, hundreds of birds dead in Rockwell, Texas, 500 red-winged blackbirds in Louisiana, 100 birds sweep, 3,000 dead red-winged blackbirds in Arkansas, several hundred dead in Kentucky, on the fish, several hundred snapper fish in New Zealand, thousands of dead fish in Florida, 40,000 devil crabs in the UK, 80,000 drum fish in Arkansas, 2 million spot croakers in Maryland. In the last two weeks, well, thousands of fish are dead at the mouth of a shipping channel as well as a dead whale that was reported in Venice today. The species include crabs, stingrays, eel, drum, speckled trout, and redfish. In the UK, 40,000 velvet crabs littered the coast. Brazil, 100 tons of lifeless fish floated. And in Sweden, jackdaws fell in the dead of the night. Across the world, the bizarre phenomena of creatures raining down or washing up on shore has mystified scientists. The video you're about to see is not a gravel road. Those are the dead fish. 